This is the Corporate Affairs Commission National Headquarters, Mitama Abuja, on the locks and keys by the staff of the Commission. The said members of staff could also be seen with placards bearing different inscriptions. When speaking with our crew, the chairman of the Amalgamated Union of Public Corporations, Civil Service, Technical and Recreational Services Employees, AUPCTRE, of the Commission, Ibrahim Karfi, analyzed the reasons for the move. Salary of the staff that was caught by 9%, a salary which we collectively agreed when Mr. President Goodluck Evelyn Jonathan in his time in somewhere around July 2010, when he approved, when he approved 33.37 percent paid relativity to all federal government workers, at the point of our negotiation, knowing fully well that we don't receive grant from federal government, we have to do something that is sustainable. We collectively agree with them that staff, we accept 35 percent increase, not up to that 33.37 percent, even though it was approved by the president. And the management, knowing the fact that they, had, they collect a huge amount of money as salary, we agreed they will accept 15% as increase. We collectively agreed that we will accept that two, more than two years into implementation. The management connived with the Salaries and Wages Commission and reduced our own by 9% while increased their own by 11%. He stated further that the union agreed that the nation's economy is in recession as money is not flowing as it ought to, and applauded the federal government's zeal to reviving the economy, but frowned at the Commission's management lavish spendings. So the union feels it's high time their welfare is considered. We are aware that Nigeria is in economic recession last year and this year, and we are very appreciative of the federal government's effort in boosting the economy, because Corporate Affairs Commission is a stakeholder in boosting the economy in this country. It's a player, key player. But at the point when management are telling you that there's no money to pay you your entitlement, it's the same time where they're embarking on foreign trips, series of foreign trips. From January to that, they plan three different foreign trips, not minding staff entitlement that are bought with the ground. They paid you some contracts, frivolous contracts that may bring it back to them. And we process those things, we see these things. All our demand was that we know the economy is not like before and money is not coming the way it was before. All we were asking for is show some commitment. Out of close to 1,500 staff, pay even five staff, if we pay even five staff, we will have the feeling that yes, this coming from the side of the management. That is what they are not willing to do. The union has, however, threatened that if after the three days warning strike, nothing is done by the management of the commission, an indefinite strike action is knocking. Our uh, Biomi, our uh, Kimbola, PTV News, Abuja.